Honours even at Edgebaston after Croft's 90. Sam Hain hit a quite brilliant 130 as around him batsmen struggled to find their feet on a day where Warwickshire put on 292. Lancashire's attack was missing some big names but still performed admirably, Lamb leading with 3 for 43 when it was over to the batters at the start of day two. But it wasn't the best of beginnings, Jennings out less than three overs into the day, caught behind off the bowling of Haddon Dolby. Bahannon joined Wells in the middle and the pair set about undoing the early damage. Patience crucial in their approach, a slow rate indicative of the hard-fought nature of the game on a pitch offering quite a bit to the bowlers. They made their way to a 50 partnership of 104 balls, but with the score on 51, Warwickshire had their second wicket, Bahannon well held by Rhodes as the edge from Norwell flew towards him in the slips. Croft stuck with Wells through to lunch, into the break at 72 for two, an intriguing contest was unfolding at Edgebaston. There was no change to the score when soon after lunch, Wells tried to drag one into the leg side from outside off, but could only hole out to Brooks off the bowling of Norwell. Villas joined Croft at the crease, the captain freed his arms to fire Brooks to the ropes to take the total to 100. It was good counter-attacking play by Croft and Villas, putting their foot down a little now as they looked to ship away at an ever-decreasing deficit. They made it as far as 141 when Villas was out caught at leg slip after flicking Briggs onto his pad. The walk back, a dejected one from the Lancashire captain. Croft continued, and with another four flashed through the offside, he went to a half century off 76 balls and took his side to 150 in the process. Jones was now the man at the other end, and he too settled well, the score heading towards 200 as T loomed. They were up to 197 for four at the break, Warwickshire now less than 100 runs ahead. Could the visitors find parity in the final session? They'd have to do it without Rob Jones, out for 28 caught by Rhodes off the bowling of Brooks. Croft was looking good, and just needed someone to stay with him. Balderson obliged for a time, watching on as they reached 200 with another single from the number four. Balderson was quick into his work, early boundaries helped Lancashire close in on Warwickshire's total, but he got stuck and tried to force the issue, skewering Rhodes to Briggs at extra cover. 66 behind now with just four wickets in hand. There was more intent from new man Danny Lamb, here lifting Norwell for six, and he did it again with the very next ball. This one brought up the 250 for Lancashire. Norwell got him in his next over though, Rob Yates took the catch that sent Lamb on his way for 18. Tom Bailey could add just three before he became Norwell's fourth victim. They were getting close but parity looked like it might be out of reach for the visitors when Croft fell on 90, caught by Yates off the bowling of Brooks. Parkinson and Williams held them off to the end of the day, the final wickets intact. They wandered off the edge Baston surface on 280 for nine, only 12 more needed to draw level with their hosts. Warwickshire will hope to pick up that final wicket before Lancashire can reach parity, but after two engrossing days of play, this one is still anyone's.